Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we are with Richard Finch here. In 2008, he won the Irish Open and in 2007, he won the Michael Hill New Zealand Championship. We're gonna be doing a what's in my bag. So we're gonna start off with the driver. We're gonna work our way down to the putter. Okay, so yep. let's have a look at okay. the driver. This is a uh, Callaway Maverick, yep. latest driver from them. I'm all fairly standard, really. I've got a nine degree head. Okay. Um, I have it in the neutral lie angle, but I do have it adjusted to one extra degree in loft, so it's, awesome. it's really 10 degree just because I have quite a low launch when I, yep. the way I swing. So that just helps me get it a bit more, a bit more airborne. airborne. Um, okay. Yeah, it's got a tense shaft in it the ck series 60 gram and the flex is a tx okay and what grip there. is it sorry it's a golf pride grip full okay. cord i have it i have three layers of tape underneath that yeah um just with all the with all my clubs just because i've got a i'm a large golf club size so yeah quite big hands so just gives me a little bit more a bit more of a feel would you say yeah? exactly yeah for me yeah. you know if a smaller grip my hands tend to wrap around and almost my fingers would stick into yeah. me yeah my palm and does that cause you to sometimes flick it a bit Absolutely, more because that's yeah. the same with me yeah i need them thicker just because of that reason yeah i think thin grips just make it more handsy so that's just yeah. a bit more stable yeah exactly and can i just ask with the golf pride grip i've, I've noticed you've got it on the wrong way around well yeah. in my opinion yeah can i just ask why is that um or? yeah basically um it was just the grips i don't really have any sort of diagrams some, some of the grips yeah. have uh, things for where to put your fingers and everything else so these are all quite neutral and i always just found that with the golf pride on the top yeah if the grip wasn't quite on straight i used to find it a little bit frustrating you know annoying and it just messed with my okay. with my eyes yeah so basically put them on backwards just to keep the actual golf pride out of the way and then when i look down at the club it's just sort of blank rather than possibly having a golf pride because obviously it can move yeah. a bit and if it's not quite straight if and it's, it's not, not lined straight, up yeah so basically that's the only reason i put it around the back that's fair enough so it's more of like a psychology thing just yeah to, yeah it is but these are well, i use what they call round grips so some, okay. some some of the grips have like a reminder it's called on the back which is like a thin uh like a it's almost like a vein yeah that it helps you, the club fit in jan so that's the one thing you can't do when you have if you, you have to use yeah. a round grip to put it on backwards because usually the one you have the, the rib of the grip oh, yeah. in, in the way sort of thing so okay. uh, yeah so awesome okay that. let's have a look at the three wood and the firewood so there are they the same shaft yeah, same just, just a different loft yeah just a different loft obviously yeah. different head different loft but they're the same sort of um they've both got 70 gram shafts in it the same tense um shaft by mitsubishi yeah um same grips um, quite lofted again. A lot of people now make the three woods into sort of a stronger three wood, so it's maybe 13 or maybe 14 yeah. degrees. But again, because of I hit it low, I have the, the old sort oh, of style of the 15 yeah. degree three wood, and um, same sort. You know, and that's same. the standard head, is it? Just to yes. get more spin on it to get it higher. Yeah, it, yeah. just just to launch it. Otherwise, I'd adjust it sort of too low. low. Yeah, um, and there's not then a, a big difference between my clubs. So uh, yeah, all very standard. Nothing to. Um, too and different it's, about it, them. It's the same shaft, the tensai, the tensai yeah, blue. That's the 70 in the gram one as well. So stiff. So yeah. 70 gram, yeah. Uh, 70 gram in the fairway wood, 60 gram in the in the driver. Right, yeah. Um, of course, yeah. Don't know how that worked out, but that's, that's, that's <laughs> what it is. So um, yeah, and I, I often substitute the five wood depending on the course. Yeah. I, have a, I have a two iron that I use, and I okay. sort of switch it in if it's a windy day or if it's a course that's got high elevated tee shots where you're firing down low. I prefer a two iron because I just feel it keeps it straighter um, and obviously a five wood is more adaptable on courses if you've got rough you can use a five wood more out of that bad lies and obviously it stops quicker yeah so yeah. depending on the setup of the course the weather I've even played the you know different weather conditions I've, I've changed it during a tournament as in from wow, one okay. round to the next yeah. um, so it just depends on the conditions on the just day just due to whether it's you know windy or yeah. sunny yeah and, okay and ground conditions as well your know, links courses I tend to find a two irons a lot more use it, you know, use that yeah, more two than iron, I would yeah. a five wood. So uh, does make sense. You can run the ball into the greens more. So yeah. um, that's the only penetrating ball play with the two iron. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the irons. So we've got a slight little combo set in there, haven't we? Yeah, that's okay, right. Yeah. So if you could talk me through I've that. I've got uh, two, three, and four iron. Yeah. Are the X Forge Callaway. Very nice. Okay. Um, so they are. The rest of my irons in, in my main irons are, are, the, are the blades, the, yep. the muscle back apex Callaway blades. Yeah. Okay. And I have those five irons, a pitching wedge. 
but in the long irons, um, I just feel it's easy to get the ball airborne with that little bit of cavity on. Yeah. It's a bit more forgiving. It also helps the ball a bit, hit, hit a bit higher, yeah. which for me, again, with my low ball flight, if I was playing on, on, on the tour when I used to play, um, you'd generally have firm, fast greens. And going in with a low ball flight, yeah, it, yeah. Not quite often, if you landed it on the green, it'd go up the back, and if you, you couldn't land it short because there might be a bunker or a rough there or whatever. Yeah. So I just felt they're a bit easier, easier to hit and obviously a slightly higher trajectory with them, so that's the reason I have a okay, longer yeah. irons. I think as well with the launch, I think it just launches it that little bit higher yeah. as well than a blade does. And to so, stop it quicker on the greens, a bit more control. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, and with the blades, yeah. so um, I'm guessing you went for the blades in the lower irons, so you're five below, just because there's, I'm guessing there's more control, stick with the yardages, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think a lot of my club selections has evolved over the years, but it it's all boils down to what I had when I was younger. Right, so okay, I grew yeah. up sort of playing with the blades, I had old clubs that I got passed down and so it's something that I've just grown up with and I've got used to and I'm happy with it and um, yeah I mean I wouldn't advise these for every golfer by any no, means, no, they're, they're yeah. that bit more, they're not as forgiving but by the same mm. rule the feedback I feel like you get from a blade is better than it is from a, yeah. a, a cavity so so yeah um, that's the reason I have those, again these are um, Grips, three layers of tape, golf prides on backwards. Yeah, same as the driver and the three woods. Yeah, so. all the way through, and the wedges is the same as well. Okay. The um, the shafts I have in my hands are Dynamic Gold X100. But nice, so that's a pretty heavy shaft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, quite stiff, but what I have done is I have them what they call soft stepped. So because of my height, I'm just over six foot one, Yeah. Um, I have them half an inch longer in every club than what is standard. Yeah. Um, but what I do with that is, um, the simplest way of explaining it is in this five iron there's really a four iron shaft so a normal four right. iron shaft would be that bit long half an inch longer than a five iron but by doing that what that means is these are uh, not quite as stiff as the extra stiff so they've got that yeah, little yeah. bit more give yeah. it's, it's stiffer than a stiff shaft but it's not as stiff as a pure extra stiff so it's just that little yeah. bit soft and that's the technical term they use is the soft step due to the, the stepping on and basically the way the only way i came about that was i read a golf magazine that they don't make them called golf league weekly when i was younger and when i was getting to uh, sort of my late teens read it that this is what marco marco mirror did a what's in the bag in this magazine and, yeah, and one yeah. of the things he said was he did this with his shot and at that time i stiff shafts were sort of fine and but extra stiff was too stiff and i read that and I then started doing it on my club, I had that on my clubs and it stayed with me ever since and every time I've actually sort of tried other things, um, the data that I've had that comes back says that what I've currently got is the sort of best setup for me so that's sort of awesome. came about by chance wow. really. Wow, brilliant. Let's move on to the wedges. So it yeah. looks like you've got the Callaway Jaws wedges. Okay. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I've got them pitching wedges just with the standard blade set, the Apex Muscle Back. Yeah. I like that because of the the bounce that's on there, um, okay. it's quite a straight leading edge, yeah. Um, and you know, not too much bounce on it. Um, and I'm just you know, happy with that. I have it quite lofted, all mines are quite loft wise are quite lofted. Yeah. What people are doing a lot of it nowadays is not having a three iron, but really the four iron is the three iron, and then they have four wedges. Ah, so you know, because a lot of what manufacturers have done is they've strengthened the lofts so make their clubs go further, but then obviously when you get to the wedges you have a big gap, hence the reason everyone now needs gap wedges where years yeah. ago they didn't. Um, but I just, I'm quite old school, just stick to the lofts that I've always had, so my pitching wedge there, I think it's about 48, between 48 and 49 degrees. Okay, yeah, well that is, that is very high for a pitching wedge, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. the standards you're looking at, is it around 46, is yeah, it? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Standard, and then the clubs these days are usually around 44, even 43, depending on which set you go for yeah, isn't it manufacturer, yeah. yeah um and then i have a, the jaws wedges here um really like these had them uh, about six months now okay um i've got a 54 degree one that's got a really nice crown on it that's bent to 53 just so there's not too big a gap so that's got a 10 degree bounce that's the standard setting bounce isn't it yes yes grind yeah yeah so nice. that's all standard but it's got a lovely sort of very versatile wedge sometimes on longer bunker shots i use that okay um and certainly around the with approach shots from the fairway as well it's it's uh, that's got a bit of everything and, and if there's nothing in the way and I was chipping that's one of the clubs I'd that's probably go to. Like you go to club yeah. around the green. But, okay. but in loft wise, I mean 53 degrees, it's not a pitching wedge, it's not a sand dines club in the old days used to be 56 degrees. Yeah. So it's a sort of like a, a mid wedge, like a strong sand wedge really. Strong sand wedge, nice. And uh, the 58? And the 58, that's just bent a little bit, I think it's either 57 or 57 and a half. Okay. Um, again, 
not as much bounce on this one. This is only eight degrees bounce. Yeah. Um, and again, quite a wide sole, which obviously helps sliding through the sand and whatever. This is what I'd use out of bunkers. And, and yeah, really like the wedges. Get quite a lot of spin with these, with these. Awesome, yeah. Jaws, grooves and everything on it. So Very um, nice. yeah, that's the, uh, that's the wedges. Awesome. We're going to be moving on now to the putting green to talk about the putter. What putter have you got in the bag? Um, I've only just changed actually. This one is um, Odyssey. It's the RSX um, milled collection and okay. it's a V-Line Mini. So it's nice. sort of mallet, uh, face balanced, sort of a triangular shape. Yeah. Um, I have been using an arm lock putter up until about a week ago. Okay. Uh, sort of the coop jar yeah. style. Where you put uh, it up your arm. That's and... right, yeah. But I just felt, especially when the greens are not always, they're not quick greens, yeah. it's very difficult to get the the pace the right, pace right. Yeah, yeah. you know you you because you can't really feel like you can swing back far enough and then you mm. make it you, so then you've got to increase the speed of your stroke so i just felt like a change to be honest so um i've had this put quite a while now at home and uh, in the collection and um just felt you know it suited my eye i'm using the sort of the claw technique which yeah. is one i've used in the past as well um with like a leather style grip on it quite nice. fat um yeah. odyssey made oh. and then i think it's just a steel stuff like a black coating on it so it's quite a it's predominantly black, this is a bit like Night Rider. This is predominantly yeah. black with just the white side line on the top yeah, there. Yeah, no, lovely looking club, definitely. Yeah, and for uh, feel wise, is it? Yeah, nice, personally, yeah. I, this has quite got a quite a nice firm face. I mean, like a, a lot of putters nowadays, they have inserts and they make them feel soft, but personally, I just prefer something that's a bit firmer and that you can really sort of feel yeah. feel the strike. And, and I think a, few, a lot of people are interpreting, me including, interpret the noise as the feel. So if right, you have yeah, a quiet okay. noise, you tend to think, oh, it sounds soft and it's. Whereas really, if you were to have some ear, you know, ear muffs on yeah. and you couldn't hear the noise, you wouldn't really know what the feel was. Yeah, you wouldn't um, know whether it's been struck out in the middle or no, how. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. I think um, just my personal thing is to have a, it's got some of the sort of like dimples in there just to keep it rough so it get a better roll on it. But um, yeah, I just really like the, the feel of the, of the face of that and yeah. it's a good solid, good solid noise. Awesome. So we've talked about all the clubs in the bag. So now my final question for you is what is your favourite club in the bag and why? Ooh. So obviously I know you've got that two iron sometimes that you have. Yeah, that you. comes out. So if you want to bring a... it in and do so, but yeah, um, I don't know really. I, suppose, I, I always like the seven iron. Though, it's a club that always. It's yeah. sort of it's it's not a not a lob where you know it's versatile. You can use it for every shot. You can chip with it. You can sort of shape with it and everything. Nice, so yeah. I, that would be the one I choose. But what I always kept doing when I was playing more on the tour was not to try and get too in love with a club. <laughs> tendency that they so, wear out, they yeah. get stolen, they break, whatever else. I, I almost year on year changed pretty much everything wow. just so that I didn't get too attached and get stuck uh, with, that with club. one club that I felt like I couldn't live without. So, uh, okay. I think that must have happened when I was Fair a enough, junior yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and really, and, and from then on, I just thought, right, try not to get too. Yeah. Too attached to one, really. So yeah, don't uh, get but, attached. Move on. Yeah. And hope to play yeah. play well with the rest of the yeah. clubs. Yeah. But I try, I no. try not to have favourites, and I try not not to have ones I don't like. They're <laughs> all, all favourites. <laughs> Brilliant. So guys, you have just seen today Richard Finch. Richard, thank you so much for coming Pleasure. on the channel. Much appreciated. And comment in the section below to let us know what your favourite golf club is in Richard's bag. Don't forget, drop us a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because there's loads more cool content like this going to be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.